This is a 1998 Ford Ranger and it's got a really bad misfire and we scanned it and it's got a misfire down here on the number five plug and we replaced the plug and it's still got a misfire so now we're gonna put in a new coil pack you can see this is our new one now when you do this if you've got enough slack on these wires you can pop them on to here in the same order so you don't have to uh, go back and look and make sure that trace them back to the plugs and make sure that it's the right order but if you don't have enough slack you can make up a little chart like this with the connector here so you know which way it goes and get you some tape and a pen and write the no corresponding numbers on the plug wires wrap a little bit of tape with the number on it around the plug wire so that you can get it right the first time and don't have to sit on the computer and figure out which order they go. Now when you do this, it's a good idea to disconnect your battery. As you can see, the positive is pretty corroded, so I couldn't get it off, so I just went ahead and took off the negative right here. Now you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I have the old plug wires hooked up like that. Do them one at a time. That way you don't get anything crossed up. And once I take the bolts out of this, I'm going to make sure and do each one of those one at a time. And of course you have the plug right here you got to disconnect. And then there's a screw there, a screw there, and then there's two in the back. And make sure, make sure this isn't corroded. Clean it up and make sure it gets a good contact. But yeah, do them one at a time like that. That way you don't get them crossed up because if you get them crossed up, it's going to take a minute to get them straightened out. This way you can just do it quick. When you do this, make sure you put the new seal in the plug right here. It just slides in there. It's a good idea to put some dielectric grease on here, but I don't have any right now. But these plugs already have dielectric grease on them from before. You make sure that goes in there. And like I said, make sure this this is clean so it gets a good ground and don't over tighten these screws because they just screw into plastic there's these two and then there's the two in the back and then just plug your plug back in and now that's plugged back in and then plug the last wire in And then just hook your battery back up and go test it out and make sure it's running good. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment if y'all got any questions.